table. Eggs on the table. We are the nibbling siblings. Today we're gonna we're gonna be making something. Apple, apple pie. pie. Grab your medium sized bowl and add two and a half cups of flour and your salt. One teaspoon. We're gonna mix with a fork until combined. Add in cubed butter, one and a half sticks. Break up into the flour with a fork. Make sure we'll still have lumps about the size of small peas. If you wash your hands, then everything will turn out better. These pieces of butter are about good. Next is gradually add the ice water. So we bought ice water right here. And continue to mix until the dough starts to come together. So when you feel like your mixture is starting to become more like a dough, but not very tacky or sticky, yeah. start using your hands to get all the butter and water just incorporated. So we uh, have it all balled up, which is technically what you're supposed to do, but we're just gonna put it in a plastic bag instead. And we're gonna pop this in the fridge. You can throw these away or you can compost them. So we're gonna core and cut this into little pieces. So first you do it like this. So, and then you're gonna line them up like this. You're gonna put them in your little line and kind of just chop them into these thin little slices like this. So in the normal recipe that we're looking at, it calls for Granny Smith apples. For us, we're just we're using Honeycrisp apples. Um, we looked at the reviews, and um, someone said it works perfectly with red apples. Red too. apples. Too. Also, we're using one more apple than it called for. I'm actually really enjoying cutting these apples. The next step of this recipe is to add the sliced apples, sugar. We have three quarter cup of sugar. Um, flour. We have two tablespoons. You have it. Salt. Uh, how much salt is this? Half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, Give it half of a lemon, and we're gonna juice this. Really help. And we're gonna um, mix until combined and we feel like it would be easier to do it with our hands. And then we're gonna refrigerate that. Oh As she's God. doing that, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Test. Mmm. Mmm. We're gonna refrigerate this and take out our dough. I feel like how me and Amelia are working together today is a little bit on the bad side. Because I've been trying to do some things on my own, and then she's kind of been interfering. I could do it myself. I feel like we're working fine together. We just took our dough out of the refrigerator and on a floured surface, um, you're gonna cut the pie dough in half and then roll out both halves round. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna roll the dough around the rolling pin and unroll onto a pie dish thingy. Nice. Put the apples in and roll the other side in. I'm gonna do the same thing that Sadie just did, except for putting it over the top. So this is important because I don't get multiple tries like she did, so. And if you're not comfortable with rolling it on top. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! If you're not comfortable with rolling it on, you can just set it on top. Careful with your dough. We just trimmed, and now we're gonna do the little roughly edgy thingies. Thingy. We're doing egg wash right now. Egg wash is, uh, if you didn't know, it's just beaten egg that you normally put on top of like bread or like donuts or pie or anything like this. So we just finished brushing with the egg wash and now we're gonna sprinkle with some sugar. And next step is to cut the little slits on um, top to make sure that the, the air isn't all caught up in there and then it'll have a big bubble. Now we're gonna um, put this in the Wait, is that oven. Glass? We're gonna bake pie for 50 to 60 minutes. So the pie is done. Oh my oh, gosh, it looks beautiful. Shout out to my little cousin. It's his fourth birthday today. Say happy birthday, Jordan. Um, we're gonna let this completely cool before slicing. So we just took our pie out of the oven and it looks delicious and it smells like apple cider and it just is awesome. Same. OMG, that pie was delicious. We really enjoy this recipe and 
We definitely recommend it to anybody out there who wants an apple pie. It is called Apple Pie from Scratch. We're gonna be putting out more content now these next couple of weeks because there's no school. For later on this week and this month, we are we already have plans on what we're gonna be making. It includes pizza, sushi, and an eggs on the table music video. So look forward to that and stay tuned and wash your hands a lot, like a lot of times a day. And subscribe so that you never miss those videos right when they come out. Hope to see you next time on the Nibbling Sibling! Eggs on the table. Eggs. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. Oh mush. Like mush, mush, mush. Good stuff, stop. Cut. We're both doing it. Oh. Extra force means extra power, and extra women means extra. Oh, oh no. Like, dra- like, like. wash that and then she washed it and then she dried it off with a dirty towel and I said wash that again okay